Hey everyone, Grant here for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video, we're going to look at the updates to desktop paint in the Flame 2018 products. There have been some architectural changes, as well as a viewport upgrade. These improvements should definitely help if you like using desktop paint. Now looking at a Reels group in the Tools area, here I have 16-bit media that I'd like to paint on. In previous versions of Flame, desktop paint did not support this resolution, so your only other painting option in Flame was to use batch paint. This is no longer the case. You can click on the paint button, select your clip, and load the media directly into desktop paint. You could proceed to paint on it, and your output will be a 16-bit result. So the architecture upgrade will allow you to load media up to 16-bit. Now Flame 2018 also supports 32-bit media, and it is possible to load this media into desktop paint. However, it will be processed at 16-bit when you paint, and your output will be upscaled back to 32-bit. If you want to paint and maintain a 32-bit pipeline, you need to use batch paint. The next update to desktop paint is viewport consistency. Looking at the viewport and its controls, it now looks and behaves the same as other modules like Action for example. You have your zooming and fit tools on the right. All the keyboard shortcuts should also be consistent. Space will pan the image as before, and Control Space will zoom into the image. You can also minimize the toolset by holding Control and swiping downwards. Swiping down with the same keyboard shortcut will bring the tools back. This is the same expected behavior when working in batch. As an extra tip, even though you can now use the common keyboard shortcut to zoom the view, you can also use the old keyboard shortcuts, which are the up and down arrows to adjust the zoom increments. So when you are moving in between Desktop Paint and other modules, your viewing experience and interactivity should now be the same. Speaking about viewing experience, the last topic we'll cover in this video relates to colour management. In previous versions of the Flame products, a new colour management system was introduced, bringing about colour space tagging for all media, as well as import rules and viewing rules for an accurate colour managed pipeline. Even though Desktop Paint has been around for a very long time, we've been able to add in basic colour management, matching what is available for the Stabilizer and Sparks. Switch to the View menu, and you can access the viewing rules, which are defined in the Colour Management Preferences. It's not the complete colour management toolset, but you're able to access enough colour management tools in order to use Desktop Paint in a colour managed workflow. So that concludes the improvements and updates to Desktop Paint in the Flame 2018 products. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel for future videos.